Hi, I'm Tom Seaborn. Join us for our five minute ab workout. Here we go. Now these sit-ups are amazing because this trains your core, but all you're doing is extending your knees and back. And now flutter kicks, look at that. Look at how easy that looks. But then your abs, look at, the, look at how the abs are really just contracting on each movement. Same with leg raisers. And now, whenever you twist your upper body, whenever you twist like that, that's, that's your obliques. And that's exactly what you want to do is train those obliques. Now the feet are up, and see how my fingers are interlocked behind my head? Well, they're not pulling my neck. And that's why the next exercise, we use our hands toward the feet. And this is training that whole core. And look at this. Now, with the hands behind the head, the head is just resting in the hands. It's not about pulling with the hands. And see, every time when you bring your legs up like that, your core is engaged. See that? This is called flutter kicks, and now, now we're doing a bicycle type movement. And these movements are training your entire core. And the core is the center of your body. Look now, the hands behind the head, but when I'm pulling, I'm pulling from the abdominals, not from the hands. This is the best exercise right here. This ACE pronounced this to be the best exercise for, for innervating your abdominal muscles. And the same with this one. This elbow toward the opposite knee, you're training your entire obliques, rectus abdominis, transverse abdominis. Gosh, you just can't go wrong by doing any of these exercises. So do them all, but do as many as you want of each. Now look at this. When you train by bringing your elbow toward the opposite knee, you can see the obliques, you can see rectus abdominis, all are being trained. And when you bring the hips off the floor, that is even more engagement of the lower part of your abdominals. So now look, this, this again is another oblique exercise. The reason we really focus on the, your obliques do so much whenever you have to twist or sometimes lifting objects in different positions, you need those obliques. And bringing your knees toward your elbows and your elbows toward your knees at the same time this is a great way to train that six pack, or really, in reality, it's an eight pack. Now look at this one. The, the legs are sideways and the knees are up. This doesn't look hard, but when you try it, you're gonna feel it. And how about this? When, you, when your legs extended, it's simply extended. There's no movement there, but it's isometric tension. And that isometrics, that's what is gonna be fo focusing on those obliques again without any movement. Now when you press your feet together like this, this is both the internal and external obliques at the same time. So, uh, and you've all done this last one, where you bring your elbow toward your hip, again, working the side of your abdominal. Now you can also develop muscular love handles there, so be careful by doing too many of these exercises. Now when we flip over and do like that push-up position, and now a side plank position, you can see these again are isometrics, but they're power exercises. And a lot of folks with back problems should be doing these exercises because there's no flexion of the spine. And now we're bending that elbow toward the floor, training all of those core muscles, including your back muscles. And now this Superman exercise, okay, it looks funny, but your whole entire back is being trained. Quadratus lumborum, all of it. We go back to this plank because this is such an important exercise. But notice when I bring my hands forward a little bit, oh my gosh, the difference there is amazing. I mean, you, you, you'll be amazed when you try that exercise. When you roll over on your back and you lift your hips off the floor, now you're training your back. Okay, these are the muscles in your hips and in your spine. And with the heels and the shoulders just making contact with the floor, then you've just tripled the difficulty of the exercise. Now, look at this one. This exercise is designed for you to find your weak link. I'm trying to find an angle that's contracting my abdominals the most powerfully that I can. And same with this, bringing your knees toward your opposite shoulder and turning the other direction, that trains your entire core, your abs, and your back. Now this dead bug exercise, this one's kind of hilarious. It looks funny, but just by bringing your arms toward your legs, you're getting an entire core workout. Once again, always remember to stretch. I mean, people forget to stretch. So here's a little stretching we do at the end. And the stretching along with the strengthening, you put that flexible strength together, and then you've got a workout. That's what we want. And here we go with the plank again, because the plank is the best. Look at that. Just by holding that position and then turning slightly, all I did was turn a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right, bingo. That's how you get those kind of obliques that just 
go from your hips all the way up to your shoulders. And here again, another stretch, and, and the stretching, again, we'll call that flexible strength. Don't forget about stretching for the full range of motion. Hey, thanks for joining us. See you next time.